Hi lovelies, it's Friday, January the 20th and the sun has gone into Aquarius and wow, can't you feel it? It's really, really fantastic. So today we're on blue cosmic hand, which is the final blue in the blue. And over the last 13 days, how have we been shaping our destiny through using healing tools, giving us a bigger picture awareness of what is appertaining. I haven't used that word for ages. What is appertaining? What is shifting? How are we getting different downloads? It's such an exciting time. And tomorrow we begin Yellow Star and it's a new moon. And I've been listening to lots of different astrology over the past few days, different perceptions. It's going to be so huge tomorrow. So excited doing the workshop and really doing these workshops gets me so focused on my own intentions and dreams. Lots of exciting things happening for me right now as to creating new beginnings. And I can recognize going back to the shift just before I moved to Glastonbury, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the same energy that's coming through. And it's been a very, very challenging 13 year cycle. So this was um, 2021 for me. Last year in my birthday, I started a new 13-year cycle in Yellow Human. So I've seen manifestation of my journey thus far. And wow, you know, be careful what you wish for when you focus on opening your heart. Radically different place I am in right now. And at this time on the planet, everyone's journey is challenging everyone's journey because we are peeling off these layers of out of date code out of date persona and ancestral storyline so super intense things coming through and noticing the shift in us so again oh a big picture overlook as to wow how far have I come and great to write these points down look at where you were back in 2010 what was happening for you back then look how far your behavior has changed your circle has changed your influence has changed that part of us that's really conditioned that can be really really challenging at times it wants to stay in the old place. It wants to keep the familiar. If you haven't yet checked out Carlos Castaneda work, check that out. He talks about the petty tyrants and how this gives us fuel for the fire of change, the burn off. Anything that's pushing our buttons, anyone, any experience, this is where the gold is. Cards for today red serpents and in my family line again once you use these decoders you can work out your family line and understand the process for you so red serpent is i've talked about in the last video is a 52 day cycle in the blue castle and it's about our relationships and how we relate to ourselves. So there's red serpent, white dog that you can see <laughs> in the background. Hi, Harry. And he's part of this tribe as well. Blue eagle and yellow sun. And so this is the blood group around ancestral patterns, waking up to how we relate, our kundalini. That's my mum and she's in my 13 day process of blue storm. And she's a number seven. So what was resonating with her 
what has happened to her in her life is a key point for me because she's a number seven. Number seven is Blue Hand, the mystic, shaping our destiny, totally was 13. So just to say that again, because of some background noise there, number seven, resonance, we're in resonant moon right now. Number seven is about shaping our destiny. It's the mystic, it's what's resonating, how we're resonating with the new code coming in, what's healthy, what's wealthy, what's whole, uh, to coin somebody else's term on um, YouTube. I can't remember his name, but that's that's a phrase that he uses, which I think is great. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> Lost the thread there. Cosmic Day, the 13th tone of blue hand and we're in the final blue in the green castle so again coming into what's resonating so for my mum she's brought this awareness I've been in other relationships with serpents as well and that's shown uh, big events big history big awakening red energy is very strong if you're a red it's a very powerful energy. And uh, again, you can combine signs to see what you co-create together. So that, that's very interesting as well. You can add the numbers together. And I'm doing that for my workshop, which I'd already done. And now we've got a new person joining and I love that on a, on a cosmic day, that's great. So back to my tribe. So Red Serpent, my mum, White Dog, Again, I've had lots of different relationships with different white dogs in my life. And one of the most profound is the father of my children. He's a white cosmic dog, the epicenter of the Zolkin. And so he helped me see and refine things that had come to my attention in my relationship with my mum. And that's still very much ongoing, still lots of new learning coming in around that because as we heal and as we move forwards on our trajectory of Aquarius, solution focused, releasing emotional stories, releasing ancestral stories and behaviors, changing our belief systems. This is so important to resonate with the galactic sun, to resonate with what's healthy, wealthy whole and the new story that's coming in for humanity right now that's again so powerful this energy is going to ripple out for the next 20 years so tomorrow is a huge day for that blue eagle is my son and his arrival in the world as an aries everything that i had to go through to birth him and what that's meant, and what a beautiful soul he is too, and had a profound impact on my life and as a human being. And I never expected or intended to be a mom, and the amount of learning about sacred beings just mind blowing and continues to blow my mind. So he has transformed my experience in so many ways. I, I cannot put it into words, it's really, really profound. And yellow sun, Harry is a yellow sun, my white dog friend, well, gray dog he is. Uh, again, he's bringing such amazing learning every day. I have had many connections with yellow sun people and that's been a profound journey as well really really profound so today it's reflecting on our journey so far for me in particular if you are at the end of a 13 year cycle in blue or indeed at the end of any cycle now and starting a new one if you're in a year one, it's it's a really good time today to sit back and think, wow, 
look where I've been, look where I've traveled, look at my journey. And how have I released and gone through to the next level? So cruelty is key in the human being journey. Especially right now on the planet, we're seeing this in a whole new light. And this is so key, nine of swords about what thought processes, what belief systems do we have for this to be manifest in our life as well? And how do we heal it and set ourselves free? So these cards are great for that. So we've got having mindsets and the sword of truth lighting that fire number nine sorry number seven of wands valor keep going on the path and we're in that resonant moon now so it's time to really focus on that resonation so again six of wands victory we're moving forward This is a card that I get a lot. So remember, we're still at a hold your horses stage. Lots of info coming in right now. Dark moon time right now. And even when we go into the new moon tomorrow, with Jupiter placement there, expansion is profound now. But we're still waiting, waiting till those planets go direct, putting those plans into place bringing them into a different space and again this is such a powerful card number five how we let our higher self our angelic angel being on board our goddess energy that's coming into balance shine through now so on the video that i made this week, I can't remember which one it was because I've made a few. I did talk about the 29th degree of Capricorn and I thought it was today, which it may have been, depending on where you are in the world, it may have been early hours. I haven't done a chart on this, so I don't know exactly. Uh, but today on the chart that I'm looking at, um, it's zero degrees of Aquarius ground zero. This is my rising sign, zero degrees of Aquarius. And coming into that ground zero place of creating new boundaries, new themes, new storylines, that feels so powerful now. So depending on where you are in the world, maybe early on today or yesterday, focus on what was coming up around that old patriarchy or being out of a space of being disciplined on your path and make notes about that as well. So for example, what has happened when you haven't trusted your gut, when you've gone back into old habits for whatever reason, when you have stayed in something too long maybe, when you haven't been brave enough to cut those ties and move forward. And this is such a tricky thing to do at times, I feel. It certainly is for me um, in certain areas. And one of my rule of thumbs is if I don't know, I don't act. I wait until I do. And to just come into that space of inaction until we feel ready, until we feel everything's aligned. We're just waiting, waiting for all those pieces of the puzzle to slot into place. And also recognizing as well that that can be procrastination. It can be that we're feeling stuck. Uh, something needs to shift. And this is where tapping can come in to give us insights as to why we're not moving forward. Is this a wise place? Is this a fear place? 
how to know the difference between the two. But always for me, if I tap, I get some clarity on what I need to do, what I need to release. Remember, the focus is on ourselves. That's what we can change. When we change ourselves, we change the world. So wishing you an amazing new moon tomorrow and an amazing new start to our dreams, what we came here to do at this time. It's a really, really beautiful, amazing, shiny space time. So think about what your plans are and tune in to feel what makes you excited, what makes you feel switched on, in alignment, resonating with that wonderful light energy. Lots of love. See you on the other side.